This equivalent fraction software will show a fraction changing into its equivalent fraction. Just choose a fraction and a new denominator and the shape will be cut up to show the new equivalent fraction. It will animate to show that the actual area of the shape has not changed, but just the number and the size of the fractional pieces. Click the equal button and the shape will animate, toggling between the two different equivalent fractions. Select a new original fraction, say 3 quarters, and choose a new equivalent fraction from those on the slide. All equivalent fractions to hundredths are available. Choosing hundredths allows for the introduction of converting common fractions to decimals. Toggle between the two fractions and allow time for your students to process that three quarters is in fact 75 hundredths. If you enter a third, the equivalent fraction slide will show that there are no equivalent fractions that are tenths or hundredths. Some fractions just do not convert easily to decimals. To simplify a fraction, enter a larger fraction, say 8 24 and then simplify it by choosing a fraction that has a smaller denominator. The software shows all factors and multiples of the original fraction from its lowest common factor up to hundredths. The software allows equivalent fractions to be entered a different way. Choose the knife tool and click on the shape. It will cut all the fractional pieces in the shape once. This shows that the numerator and denominator are multiplied by two as both are changed at the same time. 1 third becomes 2 sixths. The shape will animate allowing students to process what is taking place. The actual size of the fraction shaded is not changing, just the way it is cut up. Use the pen to show the written process. Simplify fractions using the glue tool. Click the glue onto the fraction and it will glue the pieces to show an equivalent fraction. 4 twelfths can be simplified to two sixths. Use the pen to show the written form of what has happened. But this fraction can be simplified further. Four twelfths can be simplified to one third. This fraction is now in its simplest terms. There are other features in the software that give the teacher great control. Hide the equivalent fraction by clicking on the label and ask students to find the equivalent fraction Check on your students' answers. Hide the equivalent fraction again and try fifteenths. All of this can be repeated with fractions larger than one. Start with say one third and click on the circle at the bottom of the toolbar to add one whole. The original fraction now shows the improper fraction four thirds and it is equivalent to sixteen twelfths. Clicking on this tool, the improper fraction will change to a mixed number. Now it shows 1 and 1 third is equivalent to 1 and 4 twelfths. The shape can be hidden as well, or it can be shown as a square for further investigation. This equivalent fractions app is a very versatile and useful tool for interactive whiteboards, PCs, Macs, laptops, iPads and tablets. It has an accompanying ebook full of great activities which reinforce the concepts that can be explored with this app. There are almost 30 pages of activities including blank templates that can be copied for classroom use. For early fraction work exploring early equivalents, it is recommended that the user works through some of the hands-on activities in the Introducing Fractions ebooks.